Hey Tara, how's it going? Okay, I guess. I'm working on a computer science project for one of my classes, and there's a bug in my program that I just can't find. I make my changes, compile it, check it with the debugger, and make more changes, and it's really a pain. It takes so long. Wow, if you think that takes a long time, you should be glad you were born when you were. From what I hear, a long time ago, it used to be much, much harder to write programs. Primitive? You mean back when there were no color displays and stuff like that? Well, yeah, but that's really just the start of it. I've seen some pictures of old computers that are just amazing. I wish I had a way to show you. Wait, I know. I've been working on writing a program that controls a holodeck. We could use it to go back in the past and look at some of those old computers so I could show you what it was really like then. Do you want to give it a try? A holodeck? You mean like on Star Trek? Sure, I'll try that. Okay, well, we're going to have to get this thing set. Over here on this setting, we get to set the type of uh, scene we want to view. We can see a sports arena, a computer lab. That's probably what we want, not a concert hall. So I'll set computer lab. And then this slider, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to calibrate it yet, but this controls how far in the future or past we go. Let's go back about this far. I, I hope that's right. And then we'll get things started like this, and in 10 seconds, we'll be ready to see the scene. Hello? Holy moly, how'd you get in here? You scared me. Look, there's really no time for that right now. I'm Dave, and this is Tara, and we're just sort of interested in finding out what it is you're doing here. Wow, what is this big piece of iron anyways? That looks ancient. Actually, it's pretty new. It was just delivered a couple of months ago. Wow, it's so big and loud. What kind of computer is it? It's a PDP-1110. Wow, how much memory does it have? The standard model comes with 16, but we decided to go with the extra money and get 32. I kind of doubt if we'll ever need that much, but we thought we might as well go for it just in case. You mean this large computer only has 32 megabytes? 32 megabytes? No, this has 32 kilobytes. You know, 32,000 bytes? This computer can only have 64 kilobytes maximum. You must be confusing core memory with, like, disk drives or something, because some of DEC's new disk drives, like their RPO3, can hold 40 megabytes. Wow, that, I just can't imagine why we'd ever need that amount but anyway we couldn't afford the cost of an RPO3 so we didn't even have any disk drives on this computer. What OS does it have? Does it run DOS or Windows? What kind of ROM? Uh, I'll be happy to show you here. Look that's really interesting but there's really no time for that right now. We're, we're really just interested in knowing if you can show us how to write programs for this machine. Sure, no sweat. I just happen to have a machine language program I wrote the other day. So if you look at that everything's in octal you know, base 8, where a 5 is a 101 and a 6 is a 110. And a yeah, and 011 means 3 and 010 means 2. I remember this. Well, good. I'm glad you remember your octal. We'll be sure using it when we toggle. Why don't you have a seat while we do this? Okay. Now, what you'll notice on the front panel here is that the switches are kind of grouped in groups of three with the colors, and so each group of three switches represents one octal digit. A switch up is going to mean a one, a switch okay. down is going to mean a zero. So when we start here, actually I'll give this to you, so those are the addresses and then those are the contents. So sure. the first thing we have to do is to put in the address of the first instruction, which okay. is 1000. So we do zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. And we then do a load, a load address. Okay. okay, so that tells us where we're going to start. And now we'll have to put in the contents. So why don't you read that to me, the 042. Okay, 042510. And then we hit this deposit switch, which puts that into memory. Okay, okay. now just read me the next one. 046114. Okay. okay, and put that in the switches and hit deposit. Okay, 020117. Okay, okay. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, program's in. Wow, that's kind of fun. Yeah, it is pretty neat. And once we have it loaded into memory, now what we can do, if you look at the sheet here, uh, address 1020 is a, fr is a starting address of the program, so we'll toggle in 1020, 001020, uh, hit load address, halt up, and then when we hit the start button, it executes. 